Hey gang, we are doing some Harry Potter nails today. I've already done the background of the other hand, so my desk is already a mess. Uh, we are using pink petals, v -v -v violet vibes, powder blue, and lemonade. We're going to do a background similar to this. I am going to do it a little bit different though. If you want to see the video for that, um, I will put the link in the description. It's the last video I did, I think. Yeah. Um, so I'm starting with pink petals. I'm not putting a base coat on. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there's some laughing throughout. Um, I haven't put a base coat on because we're going to be doing sort of quite a bit of stuff and I don't want them to get set. Um, but I have buffed them so that they, um, grip onto the polish. I'm taking some isopropyl alcohol there, which is your prep or wipe solution um, cleanser. Uh, and I've popped the colors on and now I'm just patting over. So similar to the that picture I just showed you, um, but I didn't want there to be any white. Um, I did a white uh, coat before doing this sort of marbling um, on the last set, but I didn't want any white to be in this background because I want the white of the detail to pop a bit more and um, so as you do this if you get some pooling because I'm not blotting my brush much before um, touching it with the IPA so it's very wet if it starts to pool in the corners on the sides you can just wipe that off and then um, move the stuff about move the stuff the stuff with the stuff and the thing and just do the with the on the bits and the sides you know you can just move the product um, to cover the area where you've wiped some off um, and then that will be cured. I don't think I've filmed doing any more of these. Did I? I don't know. Um, I'm adding a bit more blue just until you're sort of, just until you're happy with it, really. And faff about as long as you like. Um, I don't know what, whoa, hello. <laughs> So they're all done. I didn't know what I was going to do with this set. I was kind of making it up as I go along. Um, I'm now adding some yellow. I didn't add any green this time um, because where I'm putting, I'm putting the yellow so it's on the blue so it kind of makes its own green. Um, and the reason for doing that not at the same time as the other colours was so they don't get muddy um, and they don't all sort of tie into one brown colour. Um, yeah. That's that. I said that in the last video, but in case you didn't see that, I'll, I'll say it again. This is Illusion 002 Super Fine. Super Fine. Uh, I'm patting that on the tacky layer. Last, the other set I did, it was kind of an afterthought, the glitter, and I mixed it with base coat and added it to areas, but this was, uh, this was planned glittering. This is premeditated glittering. So I'm putting this on the tacky layer. Um, it's not as tacky as normal because I've been flash curing as I go, so they've all had a bit longer in the lamp than than they um, should do, but it's still tacky enough just to grab onto. And then I'm taking this brush, which is from Diamond Glitters, as is the glitter, um, and dusting that off, and then we will top coat. So that's them at the moment. We're going to top coat and buff so that we've got a nice smooth surface to paint on. Also, you know, that's another one of the reasons I didn't do a base coat because with all the layers, I didn't want them to be um, really thick. I don't think I film doing all of these, do I? Come on. Okay, so now they're done, I'm going to give them all a buff just with a buffing block and ta-da, they're all buffed. It's magic. And now I'm taking Alaska, which is the Gel Perfection White, and I'm starting with the designs. This is the Deathly Hallows symbol. Um, as I say, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, the, the client this is for, she just picked them up actually. Um, she really liked the pastels of the rainbow, rainbow set, um, but also really wanted Harry Potter. So I googled pastel Harry Potter. There was nothing on the whole internet that I could find anyway that is pastel and Harry Potter. It's all, um, you know, dark blues and then you've got the house colours, the red and the, well, the burgundy, the yellow, the green, the dark blue. Um, so yeah, I couldn't find a single thing. So I just thought I'll do the pastel -y background and then just wing it. 
really? <laughs> I normally sometimes if I'm doing a, a detailed set I'll draw up a design but I just thought no just just crack on see what happens so I've done the circle uh, from that angle it doesn't look like a circle at all but it kind of was um, I was flash I flash cured the triangle and the circle and the line um, you don't want them to run into each other um, if I'd have done the line without flash curing the circle then it would have dragged dragged some of it down so now doing these clouds um the tip this isn't so much a tutorial as it is me giving tips on things that i would do different if i did them again not that i want to do these again in a hurry because they took me fucking ages um with these clouds i'm doing the dots with the brush and then using the belly of the brush again just to pull them down and fade them out but what i was doing here was once i'd done the the dots you can see there i just wiped my brush and was then bringing them down i would suggest not wiping your brush i learned this on like nail eight of this set um do the dots and then just go straight into dragging it down don't wipe your brush first you get a better effect um and you won't have to go over it again i think the ones that i did wipe my brush before um fading the clouds down i had to go over again um so that would be my tip for that. Uh, there, that, that, I do go into blah, 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 do go into a bit more detail on the other video for the clouds I think so um, check that out for some more info on that. Uh, I did a starburst and some little dots of stars and cured and topped so that's the first one that's one of the thumbs. I'm now using this from Diamond Glitters it's luxury gold pigment um, and it is oh it's so good I love it. I love this stuff. And it mixes so well with base coat, which is what we're about to do. Um, and just paints. Oh, it's just, it's amazing. I love this stuff. However, they don't sell it anymore um, because it's not sourceable. Um, so if you already own it, then lucky you because uh, I don't know if you can get it anymore. Um, I've mixed that with base coat. I am going to draw a circle. This is going to be a snitch golden snitch and then I will cure that and then I think I top and buff which I don't remember doing but the video says I did so um, that's just to smooth that out because we're going to paint on it as well uh, but yeah I did ask um, diamond glitters and it's not sourceable anymore I'm afraid I had a leaflet come through the letterbox the other day for a menu from some restaurant somewhere and it said <laughs> said locally sourced something it was talking about fish or something locally sourced s-a-u-c-e-d <laughs> locally sourced like you know covered in ketchup on your fucking doorstep <sighs> bloody sourced um so i'm now doing the <laughs> they lost my business stupid spelling mistakes um i'm now doing the wings of the snitch just wisping out um, some feathers on it if a couple of them I think on one of them the sort of lines I was doing here kind of blended together so I just got a cuticle stick the pointy end um, and just sort of scratch through them to separate the polish again and I'm outlining and this detail um... <laughs> started to be similar to what's on an actual snitch but so you know this is like smaller than a snitch's baby so um wasn't happening so i just kind of did it a little bit similar and then just made it up and some more dots and stars and now we have a little sparkly snitch yep and what have we got here oh my god this nail i'm starting with a circle well is it a circle i don't know it's 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 the cousin of a, a circle <laughs> the kind of cousin that you were friends with and really close to when you were younger but you know you, you each got your own lives and you grew up and you don't really talk much anymore but you still like each other's stuff on facebook that's the kind of relationship this shape has to a circle <laughs> um i would recommend this is going to be the nine and three quarters design I would recommend not doing this um, circle first because it really limited 
the room I had, I would do the numbers first and then you can do a circle and it doesn't matter if the sides, circles don't have sides. <laughs> if the... <laughs> oh, I shut up. It doesn't matter if you then miss out um, the left and the right of the circle. You could maybe do a bit of the top and the bottom. I would definitely not do the circle first. Uh, so we're now doing the nine. This, um, I slowly lost the will to live whilst doing these numbers um, because I was just trying to draw a nine and I was looking at numbers and then you have to kind of break it down into shapes really. So this, this side of the nine there on the right, it was curved, but then it was straight towards the center and this hole in the top part was actually a straight sided oval um, with a skinny bit at the top and the bottom and then fatter on the sides but straight in the middle and then curved on that it was I drew this nine 50,000 times I was tempted to put um, outtakes at the end of me painting and wiping painting and wiping painting and wiping just where I wasn't happy um, but I don't think I have the um, emotional capacity to sift through any more footage um, of this set. <laughs> so now I am taking off that line because I thought I'd do that line and then I'll obviously do the three and the four but it was just pissing me off. It was stopping me from doing what I wanted to do. Um, the three again took multiple attempts. <laughs> um, yeah, several, 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 several attempts. Um, so I would recommend definitely paint them, look, put everything as shapes. Don't think three, think curly bit there, straight bit there, dot there. Um, so when I did the, when I had finally was kind of happy with it, um, I was flash curing those as soon as I thought that will do. I was like, get that shit in the lab. Stat. Um, and then now I've realized that I didn't leave myself much room for the four. Um, but it was too late. There was absolutely no way I was going to file it all off and start again. <laughs> but again, this is why I would not do the circle first. Um, it just really limited what I was doing, um, but it was done, praise the Lord, and what an idiot, I should have done these under thumb, this is why I should have planned ahead, you see, I do fix the four on the right, it was too, <laughs> it was too skinny that four, um, but I did go back and fix it after I top coated. Um, but yeah, should have done those on the thumb. If you do these, definitely do those on the thumb and do not do the HP sign, which I thought about at the end and did on the pinky. What an idiot. Why pick the two trickiest things and put one of them on the pinky? Mm -mm. Definitely do maybe the HP sign on the middle finger and the nine three quarters on the thumb or vice versa. So you have as much room as possible. These are his specs. Um... Again, circles aren't my friend. <laughs> and the nose bit should have been a bit higher up, but. Uh, and this lightning, super easy that one. Kind of looks like an N. Um, like if you were having to write it really quickly. Like if you're running down the road with a pen in your hand and someone was like, held out a bit of paper and was like, draw it in! You'd be like, shh, shh. That's what it would look like. <laughs> so that was nice and easy, that one. Doing another cloud here. And um, fading it down, had I cottoned on to the not wiping brush yet I don't know adding a little star so doing a dot and then pulling out lifting off the pressure as you pull that out to the sides just to let it sort of wisp away some of them had little star bursts some didn't um, and some I love countdown um, Yep, so he's having some stars, and I think that was it for that one. And we'll top. Shiny, shiny. That's diamond gloss, obviously. 
Everything's from Diamond Glitters and Gel Perfection. It's diamondglitters.co.uk. You can use code TEAMDG for a discount. Um, this is the bastard. The bastard. Um, oh, my phone's just beeped like it's just started charging. Why are you only beeping now? Plugged in since half past nine. Um, yeah, I was out of shop for a bit of this. This is the HP sign that I would suggest not saving for the smallest nail. Um, the this leg here is shorter um, I don't know why maybe it smoked from a young age <laughs> so that one is shorter and they've got little this sort of serif serif font maybe maybe it's Helvetica I don't fucking know um, it's probably that and then, and then they'll have a little curly line that then starts to join up the P which is where my life started to take a turn for the worst during this pee. I could not, for the life of me, wrap my head around this lightning. Because the lightning goes in a different direction to how I would naturally draw it. I would sort of go down and then up to the right. And this goes down and up to the left. It took so many attempts. So many um, I was like, the bottom of that point is the top of that point, and then that comes down there, and then, oh, I, I was, I was, I got a tad frustrated. <laughs> I didn't, I got fucking mad. Um, but I still love doing it, even though I get mad and frustrated if I can't do something. Uh, and that kind of looks like an M. The same person who asked you to draw an N while you're running down the road. That is that kind of M. Um... And now these side bits, again, just looking at the shapes, um, working by shapes. So not thinking, I'm going to draw a P, thinking, right, I need a diamond there. And then that side of the diamond is flat. Um, that's the best way to go about anything, I think. Just look at everything as a shape as opposed to what it actually is. Um, wow, this video, if, if I hadn't have struggled with all the things I did struggle with, this set would have been over in no time. But it wasn't. It took fucking forever. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not in a hurry to do it again, but it will, uh, so, I mean, it, it took me hours, like several hours. Um, but if you maybe use what I've said as things that I would do differently, then it, it shouldn't take you that long. Um, the first time round. It's all right for some, jeez. So that's all of them. Uh, they are finished. They've just been collected. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Uh, there's a picture coming up of them now. If I stop wiggling around all over the place. Um, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Um, and there's plenty to watch on there as well. I hope you're all safe and well and having a good weekend. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.